Hello Freunde and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to declutter my entire house. I'm going through every room for one last time and I would like to see if there is anything else I can declutter before I go and bring all the stuff to the donation center. So if you've been following me for a while, um, I decluttered many areas around my house over the last weeks in 2024 and the donation center is not really nearby where I live. So I collected all the stuff uh, upstairs in one area and yeah, I need to get it out of the house now. So I decided I'm going to go through the entire house one last time to see if there's anything else I can bring to the donation center. And I already know some areas, some things I can declutter. And yeah, I would like to go together with you guys through the entire house and collect everything my family and I are not using and we can donate them. So my house is also not very tidy, especially the downstairs, but that's that's how it is. That's how it is nearly every day. So while we are decluttering, I'm also going to tidy a little bit up. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it gives you some cleaning and also decluttering motivation. And let's do this. So behind me, you can see my living room and I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit. And then in these, whoop, there in these cupboards, we have board games and there are some board games the kids never reach for. I thought they are playing with all of these, but I, yeah, they are, they are not. And sometimes they, they take these board games out of the cupboards, but they're not, they're not really playing with it, which shows me that they are not enjoying these board games. So I'm going to declutter some of the board games out of these cupboards. And yeah, let's see if there's anything else we can declutter, but I think, um, all the things we can declutter out of this room will be in these cupboards. So I want to show you this blanket. Um, it's called Kleckerdecke. <laughs> My girls take this blanket and we are putting it on the floor, um, on the carpet, and whenever they are watching a movie and they want to snack a little bit, or sometimes on the weekend they can have breakfast or um, yeah, next to the TV and watch a show. And then we have to grab the Kleckerdecke, which means um, spill blanket if you want. You are allowed to spill food on this blanket and from time to time I wash it. And so, yeah, it's really nice, so my three-year-old She's soon going to be three. She always calls it. We need to get the Kleckerdecke. Okay, this only took a few minutes and now I'm going to tidy up this play kitchen and while I'm tidying it up, oh, it's so difficult to show. Uh, and while I'm tidying it up, um, let's see if there's anything we can declutter. I don't think so, but let's see.
Okay, now let's start decluttering in here. Um, on this side are all the girls, so the kids' board games. Um, of course, we play together, but yeah, and here are all the board games for the kids, also the puzzles. And let's go through these covers and see if there is anything we can declutter. So this one can go, there's one piece missing, but that's not why it's going. Or maybe there's no, no pieces here. Yeah. Um, my three-year-old is too, too old for this, she's grown out. And also this can go, but I know that there are some pieces missing. Um, yeah, but still. We don't need this one anymore. And now I have to puzzle. This is a little Christmas puzzle and yeah I'm going to put it um, with all the Christmas decor so next year, this year Christmas they can um, yeah, do this. So we have two of these domino games and I'm going to donate this one and I'm going to keep this one.
these puzzles keep falling off. So, so I'm going to put the little pieces uh, into a little bag. I should keep this puzzle. I'm keeping it for now. So this is the end result. You can't really tell a difference, I think, but it's much easier to grab the games or puzzles you want to play with and here is everything I decluttered it's quite a bit yes yeah, so all of this is donations and here's a little trash pile and now I'm going through um, the one in the back there there are uh, more grown-up board games let's see if we can declutter some of these Nobody really enjoys playing this Monopoly, but I need to ask my husband if he wants to keep it because it's, yeah, he bought it. Um, but yeah, I don't like to play Monopoly Game of Thrones. I much more prefer the normal one. And just recently, I will show you, somebody gifted us the junior version. And yeah, we really enjoy playing this one. And yeah, of course, the girls are too young to play this Monopoly, but um, maybe when they are grown out of this Monopoly, we can go and buy. I prefer the classic Monopoly, nothing like Game of Thrones or anything else like that. So I'm going to ask my husband if we can get rid of this one. And now we are done decluttering these cupboards and we are moving on to... Um, a different area. Let's see where we are going. So I have uh, this big box and let's put all the donations in here and then we are going through this cupboard. Uh, mostly on the bottom are kids games, toys and uh, books and let's see if there is anything we can get rid of. But first let's put all the donations in here. You know what, I'm going to bring this puzzle to my mom's house because the girls they stay there or we visit my mom very often. And I'm sure if, she, if my daughter is going to find this one, my nearly three year old, she will love playing it. Okay, let's go through these, this bottom shelf. I don't think there is a lot or Maybe there is even nothing we can declutter, but let's just have a look. You never know. This can go. This I'm going to bring upstairs. This 
can go. So these two things, um, my girls, they are not playing with it. Um, this one is maybe for, oh, this one is actually for smaller kids. But it's kind of sentimental for me. So I'm putting these things aside and I'm putting them to our sentimental stuff. And um, yeah, I'm thinking about keeping these for my great, great grandkids one day. Um, I'm not keeping much, but maybe one day or maybe next week or maybe in a month or maybe in a few years, I decide to go and sell these. But for now, I'm putting these aside and I'm going to think about that in the, f in the future. These can go as well. Um, well, that's, that was pretty successful. I wasn't expecting it. I decluttered um, three books and a few random toys items and I'm going to um, Yeah These I'm going to trash and these I'm going to donate and what do you think about let's count um, how many I how many items I decluttered through my entire house and yeah what do you think about that let's do that in the end I'm going to count all the items I decluttered today and let's see how many items I can find throughout my house let's make it a little challenge um, maybe I can find 100 items today that are leaving the house I just counted all the items and so far I decluttered 21 items so there are Still a few to go, but yeah, let's move on. But before we move on, I'm quickly going to tidy up the living room and the kitchen. And then um, I don't think there's anything we can declutter in the kitchen because just a few weeks ago, I decluttered my entire kitchen. Um, yeah, so I don't think that we can declutter anything out of there, but it needs to be tidied. Let's do this really quick.
everything is nice and tidy and decluttered in the main living area now i just want to quick have a look in the entryway if there is anything we can declutter and then yeah it's time to go upstairs my daughter brought home this uh, binder of artwork or this folder and let's see if we need to keep all of it or if we can get rid of some So this is kind of cute. I'm going to keep this one, but I think it's okay to get rid of the rest. Um, she's done much nicer artwork at home. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need to keep these ones. So all of this is going into the trash. Let's have a quick look if there is anything else out of these cupboards. I'm, yeah, I can let go of. three things can go. And all together we decluttered 25 items so far. I counted all the papers from my daughter as one item. Okay, let's move on. Let's see down there if there's anything. This can go. It's broken. You can still use it, but sometimes it's not even cutting anymore, so I'm going to throw this one. Um, but I really like it, so maybe I'm going to um, treat myself with a new uh, label maker, but probably a different one. Glitter can go. Uh, my, my daughter brought this glitter home from school. Um, somebody gave it to her, but there is a rule in our house, glitter is forbidden. <laughs> so this one is going. I don't, um, my kids are allowed to do any crafting with any messy stuff, but I really hate glitter, not only because it's really messy, but also all the little glitter things get into our water and into our ocean and yeah, I really hate that, so I prefer to throw this glitter away as it is instead of um, getting it into our water. I know probably it still gets into our land field and into our water, but yeah, we did not purchase this glitter and hopefully not all of it is going to be, yeah, it's going to um, get into our water, so. I'm going to throw this one. Oh, this one belongs to my mother. This thing goes with my label maker, but I'm still going to keep it because maybe I'm going to buy um, a different label maker where I can put this in. And if not, I know that my friend has the same label maker, then I will going to gift this one to her. There's another one. I couldn't even, I couldn't even get through a whole roll of this um, thing before this broke. I'm really sad about it, but can't change it.
these stickers uh, I'm going to give to my girls, they can use them. Um, so again, there are a few items I need to relocate and there are a few items I'm going to declutter. So we are total and total, so we are into 32 items so far. So let's have a look up here. Let's quickly have a look up here if there is anything we can get rid of. things I'm going to declutter so one two three four just one broke five six seven um, I don't know where we're at but I'm going to uh, put it on the screen I think 32 right 33 4 5 6 7 8 9 39 items So for the items this candle can go and I just found this Easter crafting thing and um, yeah uh, I'm going to put this into the craft drawers because it's nearly Easter and so we are not going to forget to do this very soon. So this is my um, cleaning closet if you will if you will and I don't know if there's anything I can declutter out of here but let's have a quick look. So I'm going to declutter this one because I don't like the smell of it, um, it gives me headache, so I'm going to declutter this one. Oh yeah, this one can go, I tried these, I don't really like them, so goodbye. And I'm going to refill the soap, the dish soap, so I'm leaving this one out. So it's really tight in here as you can see and I'm planning to reorganize this area but for that uh, I just found a nice little um, cupboard that goes under the sink and I want to put it into our guest bathroom 
but I still need to refinish it. Um, I, fo I found it on the side of the road. I want to refinish it and then I can move some of the stuff like um, bath towels and toilet paper. I want to move that into the guest bathroom and then I can free up some space. But yeah, before I can do that, I need to refinish this little furniture. Would you like to see me refinishing this furniture? Then let me know down in the comments and I will film it for you guys. So these are some shoes I'm keeping for my seven-year-old. Um, yeah, they are still too big, but she can wear them very soon. But I'm going to relocate these. I need to find a nice place for this thing. Um, and I, but for now I'm just keeping it in here until I find a new home for it. Let's go through this basket. So in this basket I keep all of my cleaning racks and I think I'm going to minimize this a little bit more because there was never a time when this bin was empty and there was no rack left. Um, yeah, I can minimize this thing. So here's everything I decluttered, um, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53 items. Okay, my downstairs is decluttered and now I'm upstairs and the first room we are going to look at is the master bedroom and yeah. I already know there is a book I don't I want to declutter but let's see if there's even more. So the first area we are going to look at is my um, bedside table and um, let's have a look if there is anything.
I'm keeping everything, but most of the things in this basket just don't belong here. So I'm going to put them, I'm going to relocate these things. Yeah, and I'm keeping everything in here. But I'm going to put this. Now let's have a look down there. Um, I know there. I know that there is one book I can declutter, and let's see if there are more. Most of these books belong to my husband, but I'm going to declutter these two ones. Um, yeah, I much more prefer to listen to audiobooks, um, especially um, self-care and self-improvement books. I do listen to these um, on Audible, and yeah, so I know I'm not going to read this book and. There is the, um, this is called, um, I think, how is the English title? Um, in German it's Zwei an einem Tag, I think in English it's um, One Day, I think. And there's just the a little mini-series on Netflix and I watched it and honestly it was so sad. It was so sad. Let me know down in the comments if you watched the mini series of this book. It's based on this book. And I'm going to put the, the English title just below. Um, yeah, it was too sad. So I know I'm never ever going to read this book because the yeah. My heart can't take those sad uh, movies anymore <laughs> or series. So yeah. I'm going to declutter these two books. I can only declutter these two books out of the bedroom. I mean, there's not much in here anyway. I'm pretty fine with my wardrobe. Um, after the big uh, closet declutter I did a few weeks ago, I'm good with it. I'll, I do wear everything I have in my closet. Um, yeah. So let's move on to the kids' uh, playroom. Um, and the bedroom and let's see if there are any toys um, probably there are some trash we can get rid of. And now we are in my girl's playroom and the sound is probably really bad so I'm not talking much. Um, there have these uh, storage units down there and I'm going through these and see if there's anything I can declutter.
So all of the things I decluttered out of here, um, yeah, I need to count these. Um, I wasn't expecting to find that many things. And these things need to be relocated. I'm going to put them downstairs in the play kitchen. So now we are in my girl's bedroom. And again, I don't think there is much to declutter because I recently my last video is where I decluttered all of these um, drawers with all of their hand-me-down clothes but I did not went through their closets so um, well I did went through the closet of my um, oldest daughter let's have a quick look if there is anything in the closet of my youngest and then we have a bookshelf let's go through there and there are two drawers with um, toys Let's see if there's anything in there. Um, I need to go and buy diapers. It's going to fit her up here on her waist, but um, I don't know, this one is, the, the legs are way too long, so I think I'm going to cut the legs. Yeah, so this is a little project. Yeah, this one can go. It's. Um, it's stained and we never reach for it um, but you know what I think I'm going to cut off these um, buttons so we ca I can reuse these because they're pretty nice So already two items we decluttered out of here, so let's turn around and have a look. So we have these little pixie books they are called. And yeah, we really enjoy these books and just, yeah, there are, so this is Connie, um, but there are many different ones. Um, we do have a lot of Connie, but there are some other ones like this little mouse which is called Leo and this one there are many different ones and just and I want to go through these because I know that we're not reading all of these and yeah let's do this so just a little story um, so my almost three year old she um, how do you call it Schnuller, a, um, a binky, blinky, binky, how do you call it, Schnuller in English, <laughs> I'm going to write it down uh, here, and so she, she used to have one, and only a few days ago, so tomorrow one week, um, we took it off her, we, um, we uh, told her that it's not good for her teeth, and that there is a little baby and the little baby needs a uh, schmuller. So we packed it up in a, in a package and send it off to the baby. And uh, yeah, but she really loved her schmuller. And um, so I tried to find a way to make her um, fall asleep. And the first two days, um, it was the weekend and the first two days she uh, she watched a movie late at night with uh, so not late at night but for her late at night she watched a movie and then she just fell asleep which was pretty good for the first two days 
But then we started to um, do like our normal evening routine and then she really started to cry because she missed her um, schnuller and um, yeah, then, yeah, and then I needed to find a way to make her fall asleep and I thought, okay, if she can fall asleep by watching something, maybe she falls asleep by me reading a book to her. So I tried this and it worked really well. That worked perfect. So um, I read a book to her, I think, and these pixie books, because they are small, and if you are lying in a bed and need to hold a book, they are really easy to read and to hold and to show the pictures. So um, we love these pixie books and um, I read, I think, maximum three books and then she falls asleep. So um, yeah, this maybe if you have a little uh, girl or boy and um, they need to get rid of the schnuller and they can't fall asleep, maybe try reading a book to them. Okay. Um, now I'm going through these little books because uh, I think there are some we just don't like and I can get rid of those. was able to get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. We don't like these, so they are going to the decluttering pile. Let's have a look in this bookcase if there is anything else. this book in a different video and then my girls found it I think and I took it back. So I'm leaving it inside for next time. Okay. So there are more books. We can donate one, two, three, four, five, six. So pretty much so that's a lot. Um, I wasn't expecting this again. <laughs> um, this shows you uh, decluttering is an ongoing process. Sometimes on one day you uh, think you need this item and then you live with, with it for a while and then you realize, okay, we are not needing this item. I kept few of these books because my daughter, um, she can read now. She's in, in first grade. And um, I thought she can read these books now, but she's not. She's, we still have, she can read any book is what I want. She can read any book is what I want to say. And there are special um, books for first graders and second graders. Um, like this one, which is easy to read and we have so many books. And we need to get through these books before, which was going to take a while. So I decided we are not going to keep these baby books. I'm going to tidy up their rooms. And maybe while tidying up the room, I find even more things to declutter.
Oh yeah, I wanted to go through these two drawers there. Bloop. It's so hard. <laughs> I want to go through these two drawers. Let's do this real quick. So in here are all the stuffed animals and in here are other pets. <sighs> okay, let's start. I think these can go. Either this can go. Yeah, all of this can go. I think this box is so cute. Um, I'm keeping it for now. This one is. So this one is broken, Daisy got hold of it, um, I'm going to declutter it. This can go. your advice. Um, my girls are not playing with these things really often, nearly never. And what would you do? Would you keep these items because maybe your youngest um, will one time enjoy playing with these things or would you just get rid of them? Um, so I have two girls, one is seven and one is going to be three. So they have quite a bit age gap and yeah, so I don't know, maybe one day my youngest will enjoy playing with these toys, but for now they're just taking up space. I mean, we have the space, there is space, but um, yet still it's in here and nobody's using it at the moment. Um, so I'm really unsure if I should keep these things. I recently decluttered all of the Barbies. We, so. Um, my seven-year-old, she had few Barbies, but she never played with her Barbies. She really don't like playing with Barbies. And um, so we had just a few, and I was keeping them for my youngest. But then I decided, okay, there are just a few ones. I'm going to get rid of them because, yeah. But it's the same with these toys. And they're quite expensive, like every toy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you would do if you would get rid of these things or would you store these away and like a little bit like a toy rotation and get these out like in a few months. So when I'm saying that out loud I think that's a good idea. Maybe I'm going to do that. But um, yeah, today I'm just keeping them in here and probably I'm going to store them um, somewhere else where nobody sees them and like in a few weeks, months, maybe in a year if I get these things out I'm sure both of my girls will play with these toys again but the thing is um, they will play with these toys maybe one day, maybe two days and then um, there would be then, and then again they would just sit around but maybe my um, three year old she will be three then, will enjoy playing with these when she's a bit older. Okay, enough talking. Please let me know down in the comments what you would do with these toys. So, now onto this drawer. Um, and here are all the stuffed animals. I remember when I was a child, I loved stuffed animals. So, they have, um, my girls have, um, Especially my seven year old, she has like a sentimental attachment to uh, these stuffed animals. But they're not getting used that much. They do get used, but um, yeah. I think there are way too many, but I think I can't declutter any out of here um, because um, I do ask my girls on a regular basis if there are any stuffed animals. We can declutter 
And sometimes, pretty much every time, my daughter t tells me, okay, this one can go. And I asked her one time she wasn't sure if she wants to keep it or if, it, if, if we can get rid of it. So I told her, okay, I'm going to put this in a little box somewhere else. And if you're not asking for it in a few months, I don't know, I, th I think I said in, in three months or four months, I'm just going to donate. I'm just going to donate it because then she's not going to miss it. But let's see. Um, you know what? I think this one is so nice. It's a unicorn. But my girls don't like it. <laughs> and I keep putting it back into this drawer because I like it. And this is stupid because I'm not using it. And my girls don't like it. So goodbye. We made it to my bathroom and let's see in these drawers if there's anything we can get get rid of. Um, I recently bought an electric a cleaning brush and I kept this one to clean for, for cleaning but um, I'm not using it because I've got the other one so I can get rid of this one. All good in here. So, let's see. Um. I usually keep some wash towels, how do you call them, wash cloths in here, but they're uh, in the, uh, yeah, I need to refill these. They are in the wash right now, and also uh, fresh towels are usually going in here, but there are no as well. So we need to go and fill this up. This I'm going to put upstairs. This I'm going to declutter. So this I'm going to leave out because it's for my girls and yeah, I keep forgetting that we have this cream and so I'm not using it, but I would like to use it. It's for dry skin and especially in the winter they have really dry skin, um, so I'm keeping this one out. Sunscreen. Keeping. This one I'm bringing upstairs as well. So let's see. This is going upstairs. So the last drawer is um, this one, this is my drawer and it's pretty messy but let's see. I'm going to get rid of this one, it belongs to my husband and it's pretty old and he's not using it and if he needs a new one just go and buy one okay. Okay, this 
is the old one. There is the new one. So goodbye. I don't know if this one is used or not, so goodbye. Okay, my battery just died. I hope you saw me declaring all of it, but um, yeah, it's done. It's looking, it's looking pretty good again. I do use all of the things. And yeah, we are done declaring the second floor of my house. So now we are moving to the third floor. Um, and let's see if there is anything we can get rid of. I already know one thing we can declutter. But like in all areas around my house, I'm sure I can find even more. So let's go and have a look. And yeah, like I said, I lost track on how many items I decluttered so far. Um, so in the end of this video, I'm going to show you everything I decluttered and I'm going to count everything. Okie dokie, let's move on. So these bags, they belong up here in this um, closet and let's have a look if there is anything we can declutter out of here. I'm going to get rid of this thing. It's a mattress cover and um, I do have mattress covers for all of our beds. This is a spare one and my mother gave this one to me, but just listen. Uh, and I think nobody wants to sleep on something that sounds like this. So this one is going. And then I just found, and then I just found this random pencil. Um, it's a cheap one and I think the cheap ones, they, they don't write the same, so this one is going as well. So up here are presents for my three-year-old, her birthday is coming up very soon, but there is this light. Um, and yeah, I can get rid of this one. So honestly, this is pretty overwhelming for me and here is all of the paperwork and documents and um, yeah, um, I, I'm just going to look over it real fast and I will see if there is anything I can let go of but um, I will have to do all of, I have to go through all of these things on a different day when I have more energy and I did not went through my entire house before. So let's do this real quick. I don't know why, I don't know why, but all of these things in this basket belong somewhere else and I can't tell you why they ended up in here. So I'm just putting everything back in here and going to relocate it somewhere else. Oh no, the flow me, this one can go. So here is one more sentimental item. Um, my seven-year-old she loved this jacket and I don't know I have nice memories with it I don't keep much but I still I'm still going to keep this one let's see how long but um, I'm going to put this into the sentimental box
okay you know what this is too much for me right now um I need to go through every paper to see if we need it or if we can declutter it. This is taking me too long and I don't have the energy for it. So we are just going to close this and leave it for another day. And I please don't look at all the mess in here. <laughs> uh, I need to do laundry and um, yeah. Uh, yes, this is um, for another day, but I just wanted to grab this pants real quick. It's one of my husband's and I shared in one of my videos um, the stain. And I tried few hacks and few cleaning things, the plies and everything on it and I just can't get the stain out of it so I think it's okay if we are going to get rid of this pants and now we are slowly moving out of this room and we are quickly going to close this door and I don't need to go through here I think let's just have a look because um, just recently uh, I went through this closet and I decluttered all the things out of it. Um, I'm going to link this video down below if you missed it. So we're going to close this one again and let's have a look in here. Um, up there I keep little gifts. Ah, oh, and I'm just thinking about I can give this to a little girl because um, we're going on a bir to a birthday party and this would be nice for her so I'm getting this out and um, yeah and the rest is staying up there and I think we are good here most of it is my husband's stuff so I'm leaving it in here so there is one more area I would like to go through and this is behind these curtains and I'm going to grab my tripod and then I know that there was one thing for sure I can let go of but let's have a look if there is even more so um, yeah um, this blanket can go um, my mother gave it to me because uh, yeah, I needed a blanket and she told me she has this one but then I ended up not needing it so I am going to get rid of this one. Okay, I think that's it. Um, there's not more. There's nothing else I can get rid of out of out of this storage space I created myself. Um, yeah, I do have lots and lots of baskets and bins for storage purpose for organization and I want to put all of these bins uh, in the future on one big pile and see which ones I still want to keep and which ones I can get rid of but I want to wait uh, until I reorganize the um, my um, cleaning supply closet because maybe I'm I'm still need maybe I'm going to need some of these bins for down there, and in the future um, I'm going to clean outside and I'm going to declutter our shed and some other areas out there, and maybe I'm going to need some of these bins for out there for outside. But I think that's it. We're done. I went through the entire house and I decluttered every area I could think of. And um, yeah, let's count how many items I decluttered today. So I quickly went um, to the upstairs bathroom, so the bathroom up here, and I found these sheeps and um, my girls. I don't even know if they play with these sheeps in the bathtub, um, but we don't need four. I'm only going to keep two and two I'm going to donate. Guys, I finished decluttering my entire house and it's crazy how much stuff I could find that is just sitting in my house and nobody's using it. And I hope 
this video motivates you to just go through your house and declutter like set a timer for one one and a half hours and just go through your house and see if there is anything you can find um, you can declutter because this wasn't even a deep decluttering video so I it this was just running through the house and see if there are things I can let go of and yeah it's crazy how many things I was able to declutter I'm just going to show you all of the things just in a bit and while I was grabbing all the things throughout the house to bring them all on one table to show you guys I even found more stuff so um yeah I'm going to show you everything right now and then I'm going to count all the items and let's see how many things I was able to declutter today. So here is everything I decluttered just in one day by going through my house, going through um, some cupboards and yeah, this is absolutely crazy and all of this you've seen and I just wanted to show you the items I found while grabbing all this stuff. So first of all, my husband is okay with letting go of this Monopoly game. Then I found this blanket. Um, it's even ripped somewhere and it's always, it's just lying on the floor. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Then there is an old bag. It's dirty and I don't want it anymore. Then this mirror is keep, you can see how dirty it is and it's, um, it's keep falling off the wall. So this can go in all toothpaste. Then this can go, we are never using it. This thing I bought um, cheap and it is cheap, so goodbye. Then the girls been using this for playing in the bathtub but not anymore, they have other stuff, so this can go. Then an old bottle, I was keeping this one to refill it, but I don't need it. Then I'm getting rid of this basket. It's just broken and yeah, goodbye. Um, my husband said I can let go of this book. He found it on the side of the road and he's not going to read it. And then I'm going to declutter this cutting board. I was using it, but honestly, it's really not practical to use it this way. It's just too small, so it broke. I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Okay, let's count all of these items. And just in a second, I'm going to tell you how many things I was able to declutter. I was able to declutter 131 items today. This is crazy. This is a lot of stuff. And of course, there were some tiny little um, things in my decluttering pile. 
but um, all the paperwork I counted as one. All the hair ties and hair clips all together I count, counted as one. If I would even count them individually, I would be um, nearly by that. Uh, yeah, minimum 160 items so this is a lot of stuff and even li every little piece counts you don't need to keep uh, any little things in your house if you are not using them so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did so please subscribe to my channel i would be really happy about it and yeah let me know if you went on a decluttering journey this year, maybe after watching this video or maybe after watching some of my other videos. So next we are going to start our spring cleaning. I feel now that the home is fully decluttered, it's um, a good time to start the spring cleaning. Um, yeah, I'm going through my entire house. I already made a list and um, with all the things I really, really need to clean. Um, and we are going to do this in the next weeks. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you are not going to miss any of my future video and there will be more decluttering videos in the future. Um, I do like to declutter on a regular basis, just go through um, certain areas around my house and just declutter them and yeah. And if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to hit that like button. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Just find them.